the minute I get that opportunity where they're like, oh yeah, I can do this, and then they go, I can't go. And a lot of people actually get an oblique cramp when they, they do that turn. Here's what we do. What do we go back to the bees, right? They were breathing good on this side, so they were going good. They go here, and the very first thing they start doing is shallow breathing. Head comes forward, butt goes out. So the first thing I do is I'll just go back and get some of this alignment. If I've got somebody who can't even be in this position for a minute and a half, then I realize we're not going to have enough turns to make a difference. So literally, some of your clients will try to go a minute and a half here and a minute and a half here. They're done. Their breathing is up. There are people that will go up 40 beats a minute. This for a minute, this for a minute. Their resting heart rate just went up 40 beats. It's, it's ridiculous because this is like, this is planking. He, he actually used the term, this is like planking in an upright position. It really does cause you to activate some stuff. Yeah, the phrase I use for this now is kneeling plank. Kneeling plank. It's funny because that discussion he had about kettlebell swings earlier, put your hands out in front like this. That is how you finish a kettlebell swing. This position here is here. If your client finishes his swings like this, this is your next step. This is where you have to be. I would say almost legally, if you will, this is where you got to take it back to. If they're finishing swings like this, it is going to hurt their lower back, and it's your fault.